the quest continues. That oh so elusive, perfect thumbnail. <coughs> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. I don't at ever, I don't ever at any point want to be formulaic or predictable. I don't want to do the same shit over and over again. I mean, there are certain things that you have to do. I mean, if you're doing a tarot channel, okay, you're going to shuffle some cards, but I don't want to get stuck in that rut of doing the same thing over and over again, doing it the same way over and over again. Okay, so Libra. This is a terrible book. I can't say I really had high expectations. I mean, it's another ghost-written celebrity book. Quasi-celebrity. Well, she's been on TV, so she's been in Playboy. Anyway, sometimes I like trash. I like Us Weekly. I like celebrity trash. So what I did on a lot of these pages is I did blackout poetry. Let's see an example. Oh, those are notes for my next novel, The Queen of Texas. Blackout. Okay, here we go. Body, burden, dumb, tattoos, skin, life at the mansion, clone, women, alien, choreography. Arranged in a certain way. I mean, you have to go linear with the blackout, but that, that could be a poem. <sighs> yeah. Body, burden, dumb tattoos. Skin life at the mansion, clone women, alien choreography. There you go. I've been doing a lot of fast and easy crosswords lately. So at my channel, Cult Yoga, it's a lot of ASMR type stuff. The crosswords, different puzzles. Shut up, bitch, shuffle the cards. Okay. Rocking the Dollar Tree sequin bunny ears. Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising. Venus, Mars. Mercury. Okay, Paso. What's going on with Libra? Three of Wands. Eight of Wands. <laughs> That's good. Someone's having sex. Looks like really good sex. The World, the Fixed Modality, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Ten of Cups. The Devil. Seven of Wands. So some of you right now, you're having the best sex of your lives. You and this person are really plugged into each other. Uh, you're connecting on multiple levels. There could be mental telepathy. There's definitely multiple orgasms. Um, you have things in common, shared values, shared interests. You see the world in a similar way. The communication is just pretty damn near flawless. Mm. You're getting married. <clears throat> Maybe you're already married. And you're happily married. What is your secret? I've never figured it out. I've never had lasting, substantial, deeply gratifying, romantic, sexual happiness with a man in my life. I've been married and divorced two and a half times. Got married the first time at a 
for in a Ford Taurus at a drive-up window in Las Vegas, the Little White Chapel, you can get married to the drive-up window. So it was a forest green Ford Taurus. But the marriage was null and void because this guy, the first man that I ever lived with, a Leo, he was still married to the wife he had not lived with in years. But um, yeah, it was null and void. I got married for real two other times to a Libra and then a Leo and yeah, my life has been really complicated, but it looks like you're in a good relationship. I've already covered the sex. It works. It's, it's good. It's gratifying. Um, you and this person are best friends, your partners, maybe you're creating a family together, or maybe you're creating an entire world together. Maybe you're starting a business together. You could be one of those vlogging couples. You show your domestic bliss, your travels, your meals, your mukbangs, your holidays, the Christmas matching pajamas. You're showing it all on your YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> this card, the devil, is misaligned. People bring their prejudices, their biases to this card. And I get it because I was brought up Southern Baptist in Texas, but I love the devil. I love this card. I am partial to the Capricorn energy. Capricorn is my fifth house. I've got Mars, Jupiter, North Node and Vertex and Capricorn. Anyway, I say at its highest vibration, the devil Capricorn is about knowing yourself. Knowledge is power. You're empowered by knowing yourself, having definite expectations, definite boundaries. You don't lose yourself and other people. You're firm. You're solid in yourself. And you are selfish. And it's good. It's good to be selfish a lot of the time. Selfishness is a virtue. Ayn Rand. I think um, selfishness is a virtue. virtue. I think knowing yourself is important. Spending some time alone in the dark is important. <clears throat> so it could be that you were alone for two, three years, maybe longer before you lucked into this really gratifying relationship. You did the work on yourself and you didn't come into this with any pathologically codependent needs or expectations. You're good. You're solid. You got your stuff going on. You've got your life the way you want it. And you meet this person and what they bring to the table is just extra. You love yourself. You love your life. And you love this person. It's just a really healthy, high vibration relationship according to these cards. So good for you, Libra. Congratulations. I hope that resonates with at least a few people. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.